It is one of the largest and fastest growing industries in Texas. It's the travel and tourism industry, and its impact on the state's economy is staggering. The latest figures show travelers directly contribute more than $50 billion to the Lone Star State's economy every year. More than one million Texans are employed in travel and tourism related jobs, and the travel and tourism industry has indirect ties to literally thousands of businesses, and each and every Texan is affected in some way. The relationship isn't always obvious. There's a true story about a San Antonio automobile dealer who was asked to support his community's efforts to draw more tourists to town. He asked the chairman of the Chamber of Commerce, why should I do that? I've never sold a car to a tourist. His friend replied, how do you think all those people at Fiesta, Texas, and SeaWorld get to work? Walk? I'd like to show you three of the state's busier parking lots. This one's at the ballpark in Arlington, this one's at Hurricane Harbor, and this one's at Six Flags Over Texas. All three are employee parking lots, and I can guarantee you there are plenty of cars on each that were bought and are serviced at local dealerships like this one. In Arlington, tourism is the largest industry. Now, you've heard the facts on what travel and tourism mean to your community. They're impressive, but you know they could be even more so if you and other leaders give tourism the enthusiastic support it needs to grow. And travel and tourism is growing. Statewide earnings generate billions of dollars in income for Texas workers. Visitor spending also generates billions of dollars in state tax revenues and millions of dollars in local tax revenues that help fund essential government services. So how do travelers spend their money? Shopping, dining, transportation, accommodations, recreation, and even food stores all reap great rewards from visitor dollars. But how does travel and tourism spending trickle down? Well, let's follow the dollar's path. This hardware store in East Texas benefits from tourism because they sell tools to this boat maker who builds fishing boats for this Gulf Coast shrimper who sells his shrimp to both restaurants and to this man. I make a living off of tourism, I sell the bait. The bait salesman sells to tourists who come to South Texas to fish. And how do those tourists get there? Well, they drive, they ride, and they fly using petroleum products pumped from the Gulf of Mexico, delivered by Texas trucking companies, and sold at local service stations for use in both personal and rental cars. I'm in tourism, and I can get you from here to there, but tourism is more than just transportation. The tourism dollar does indeed reach even farther. I'm in tourism, I sell tractors. How can tractor sales be affected by tourism? Well, let's see. This is the famous river walk in San Antonio. Like hundreds of thousands of people every year, these folks enjoying the local Mexican cuisine have come here from out of town. They are spending their dollars on a meal complete with tortilla chips and hot sauce. The hot sauce they're eating comes from this factory in North Texas, which in turn bought tomatoes from this farmer. I guess you could say I'm a big part of tourism too. The farmer bought tomato baskets from this factory in East Texas and a tractor from this South Texas dealer. Remember him? The wood for the baskets was milled in a Texas sawmill and the lumber was cut from a Texas forest. Texas provides a great base of activities that puts this chain into motion. Texas is one of the most popular states in America for business, convention, and leisure travel. And when those travelers reach the Lone Star State, here are some of the activities they participate in. Shopping, dining and entertainment, sightseeing, cultural activities, nature activities, attractions, and sporting events. 
One of the ways tourism dollars are impacting local economies is the growing festival market. Nearly every community in America has some sort of celebration that brings people together. And according to the Travel Industry Association, tens of millions of adults attend a festival or event while on a trip of 100 miles or more. Some of the types of events that draw tourists are arts and music festivals, ethnic, heritage, or folk festivals, county or state fairs, parades, food festivals, rodeos, athletic events, and religious festivals. And here are more reasons why your support of travel and tourism is vital. Travel and tourism consistently ranks among the top three largest industries in Texas. Texas ranks among the top states in the nation for direct domestic and international travel expenditures. One in every eight non-agricultural workers in America works directly in the travel and tourism industry. Travel and tourism offers a tremendous variety of career opportunities. In fact, one study suggests young workers in the travel and tourism industry are two and a half times more likely to become a top executive in any business sector than are the same age workers across all types of industries. And without tax revenue generated by travel and tourism, each Texas household would pay approximately $900 more in additional taxes to maintain existing government services. Nice thing about tourism, it's not just profitable, it produces sales tax dollars which hold down property taxes. It sure has in Arlington. And it adds immensely to the quality of life in the communities that recognize its importance. Now, granted, not every acre of Texas will become a tourist mecca, but every city and town with a road running through it benefits in some way from tourism. There's a reason for all those restaurants being up by the highway. It's the towns with imagination to find profitable ways to take what local residents may take for granted and turn it into a reason for visitors to stop, enjoy, and spend. Every Texas business benefits in some way from tourism, even car dealers. I'm in the tourism business, so is he. I'm in tourism and I'm proud of it. I'm a hotel manager and I'm in the tourism business. I'm in tourism because I love it.